What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing pretty good. And I must admit, guys, uh, this thing, I kind of had to redo it. Uh, simply because I made it one block too small. So I just made it one block bigger. And now we've got iron. Uh, I placed the the this villagers over there. It wasn't too hard. Like, just, you know, golden lasso when you put them up there it's nothing incredible but the reason i did this is uh soul shards yes <laughs> i found something if we go in iron nuggets and we look at what you can do with an iron nuggets you can smelt it to get steel so what i want to do <laughs> is get steel from it that's my point that's why I want to do this, but just a little iron farm like this isn't going to cut it for us. So what we have is an unbound soul shard. I'm going to show you how to do it. I was going to make another one just to show. Uh, so you place glowstone in the middle. You place quartz around it. Place obsidian in the corners. And then you don't forget your diamond because you need a diamond. Uh, and then you right click the glowstone with it. Uh, but what we're going to do is I enchanted a beautiful sword uh, with Soul Stealer 5. So it should give us 5 or 6 uh, soul when we have the soul shard in our inventory. Uh, do I want to just sleep? Come on. Come on. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Oof, I'm going to have to fill that up soon. Uh, I could fill it up here. Alright, let's sleep. Let's go just after. Uh. So I do the the reason I didn't want to just like build it like super normally like in an episode is simply because well oh okay I did get it. Uh, we're in modded like you don't you guys don't want to see a normal vanilla iron farm uh, and I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of them. That's why I did this and I don't even have the spawner yet. We can't make the spawner, actually. Well, actually we can. Uh, soon. Kinda wanna wait. He's loud. But, alright, let, let's show you. So, pretty much yeah, I got this. You right-click the glowstone, everything disappears. And you get the non-bound soul shard. Both of them are unbound. Wow, another one? What's happening? There you go, Iron Golem. Oh, I didn't think they were too far. <laughs> there we go. So, I'm at 14. What? How am I? Oh, really? I'm an idiot. I used the wrong sword. <laughs> uh, but I need to reach a thousand twenty-four. Maybe I don't reach need to reach that amount, but uh, we kind of need to reach a good amount. So pretty much, I'm just gonna let this run, and there, when I'm gonna come back, there's gonna be a bunch of them over there, and I'm just gonna whack them. But all right, let's get into what I had planned for today because this was not planned. I just found the recipe, and I said, "Oh, let's do it. Let's abuse iron golems." Because, you know, it's just fun to do. In my crates over here, I have a couple of recipes prepared. Uh, but also in my inventory, I don't have enough space. So let's put, like, everything in there. Uh, let's put these there, too. Uh, there we go. That should be enough. Uh, let's get all this. We're going to come here and we're going to go into Psy. Because that was the thing we were trying to do before. So we got the cat assembler. And we got the spell programmer. Oh yeah. And... I don't know where my gun is. It's probably over there. Okay. So in here, yes, okay, we've got that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some redstone. Because we're going to need some redstone. Okay, 64 should be enough. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's the same amount uh, of Psy, well, Psy energy. 
All right, let's let's put those here. We're kind of putting everything around here. If not, you have to parade this. Right, let's put that there. Now we'll get the casting assistant. And now I believe I can press X. Okay, perfect. And X. I do not want that. Uh, hmm. I don't exactly... There we go! That's what we were looking at. So, <laughs> that's pretty much what we needed. So, we can put that away for now. We're, we're gonna use it eventually. Uh, but I needed this here. So, with this, we're gonna be able to... I think if I use this one... I'm gonna be able to make Corrupted Essence. So now we've got 32 of these. Uh, now we need to burn some Vile Dust. And uh, then we're going to be able to make Corrupted Ingots. Uh, are you going to go away, level 1? That would be really nice. <laughs> it's not going away. No. Okay, thank you. Alright. Uh, let's do like 64, just because we can. And uh, we're going to use our Alloy Smelter. Just because it's quicker than everything else I have. So there we go. So it should give us some of those. Valdust. Uh, okay, it's going to go there. So yeah, with the Valdust, we're going to be able to do this. Uh, you can make the Val Sword, but this thing had like 15 damage. The other one has like nothing. Uh, but we're going to need Dark Iron. I don't think I've got that many. And the problem that I got with the armor that I made before is that it's not the ancient meant on it is not removable and that makes it that you can't oh wait i've got just enough just enough 16 yeah you can't smelt those when they have ancients so pretty much we shot ourselves in the foot there all right so give me that so now we can do uh we need iron Give me some iron. Oh wait, give me a second. I don't believe I got any iron from killing those iron golems. <laughs> don't tell me it's not doing anything. If it's not doing anything, it might. It might actually not do anything. Uh, wait, C could you give me a little bit more? Thank you, my good lord. Uh. No, that's the thing we want to do. Alright, so now we've got eight, so we're going to be able to do two of them. Hmm. I really hope that these iron golems actually give stuff. Because I didn't check if they actually dropped anything. I saw some puppies. Puppy. Puppy. And uh, there's more, so let's go kill them. I don't have my thing. Come on. Let's go get our spawner thingy. Uh, we're going to work on getting more things done today. Don't you worry about this. Uh, mainly magic stuff, I think, would be the process. It's just I needed to do this uh, before. Why am I going there? Everything is in that chest. Okay, this thing here. Perfect. So, yeah. We need to kill that thing. And please, please drop some iron. I kind of want to abuse it. I don't know why I want to abuse it. I just want to abuse it. <laughs> it's not like I could do other things. I could do other things, to be honest. Okay. Of course it doesn't drop anything. Of course. It doesn't drop iron. Gah. No. No! It doesn't drop any iron! They, they changed that! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! So now this thing's completely useless? <laughs> oh man, they removed it from the iron golem, so I can pretty much destroy this thing. Ah, but it's okay, we're gonna use it for other things. I'm probably gonna go, like, kill a bunch of uh, wither skeletons, 
and probably blaze also so we can make farms from it uh, but th oh I'm so disappointed by this I really thought I could be doing something good there but it seems I'm not so all right so what is up now well to get into a little bit better things we kind of need to have magic or applied energistics let's let's see if we need magic to go there so this we don't need magic to go there we've already seen that we don't need magic to go here either so pretty much i believe we don't need magic to go anywhere except for you know these but again they are not that crazy they are pretty simple to do we do need to go into blood magic to go into like a little bit better into botania but if we look into botania let's see what would be the next step it would be to try to go to make terrestrial well of course we would have to make like a bunch of those uh, and things like that uh, but the next step would be terrestrial this thing here which we need an agglomerator thingy doodler i'm not sure exactly uh, actually thinking about this there's something we need first it is where is it where is it i can never find it and i never remembered name it is this thing the runic altar which need overworld leaf which there's no recipe if you click like an idiot it is because it is made by this so if we go into our little hole over there we're gonna be able to come somewhere <laughs> i can never find what i'm looking for i am trying to find the book there's nothing here it's actually a tablet and it's probably in here it is not in here okay let's try tablet not in here nope 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 so it's not over here not there it's not there it's not there <laughs> Where is it? Where is my tablet? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try to find the tablet. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to do the overworld leaves, and I'll bring you guys back to show you. And that was a dog. So, I found how to do it. Uh, we were missing a couple of things, like uh, we needed some Batania things. Uh, we're gonna grab that we're gonna come here and i believe what i'm gonna do first to get a little bit more mana going one more this takes 12 to fill completely all right so first things first mana diamonds Woohoo! Second, mana pearls. Third, what? That's not it. Oh no, <laughs> I thought it was it. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Uh, I don't remember how you make Pete. There's something you can do, it's these, but you need to, to get it, you need to do another thing. It's, it's rock hounding, rock hounding. Okay, let, let's look at it. It is, uh, where is it? Bug iron ore, no, that's not the one. That is not the one. There is a block that you place next to the water and it will change. Moldering cold, that is not the case. Uh, dang it! 
I thought I had everything. Do I have any of those? Of those ash left? I think I used them all. I'm pretty sure I used all of them to make stuff. I don't remember. I, th I think it was, yeah, here. Yeah, we, we used it with this. Oh man. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go get some of that. I'm going to find out what I need to do and place next to the water. Uh, I'll bring you guys back after that. I really thought I had everything. <laughs> All right, guys. So I found some beautiful blocks that I think would go really well next to our petal apothecary. Now, they're actually the, the blocks that I was talking about. They are called bog earth. And when you place them next to water, they are going to mature. And when they're matured, you take your shovel and they're going to give you dirt back plus peat. So, Pete is a really lucky guy. Uh, <laughs> no. But, yeah, so pretty much what we needed. We're going to get some peat. We're going to be able to actually smelt it and get the ash from it. Hey, don't go too far. There we go. So I'm probably gonna have to like make a bunch of those because of course we need like a bunch of this thing. Uh, but for the moment, I think we have enough to do what we want to do. Uh, I believe this here will work. Yes. Okay, so gonna be able to grab this. I kind of don't need this. Uh, Let's grab nine. We'll do nine for now. All right, so there we go. We've got nine. So with this, what we can do is these. Oh, we need the ingot. Don't. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yes, I know. There we go. Now I've got the ingot. So that means we can do two. My very own hinge. So these things, if we look into the tablet of my inventory, which is so cluttered. Uh, in here, no, not in here. In here, they go one block away from the one in the middle. So here, wow, they're pretty tall. And here, so we're gonna have to need them on the other side also. So let's go grab a little bit more of that hashing thingy. I thought it was the thing in the middle, so that's why I thought nine was gonna be okay make the whole thing all right so this bam one two gonna be able gonna be good with this all right all right this here this there then no ritual found that is the ritual probably something that I haven't seen um Okay, so using a warping property of an ender pearl, don't have discovered ritual that can lessen the gap to another world. So redstone, glowstone, and ender pearl, that those are the things that I have. All this seems to be the same. Oh, do I need to light up these? Uh, do I have, yes, I do have a flint and steel. Yeah, they won't light up when you don't have anything in there. Um, yeah. I don't know. It does say this is the ritual. <laughs> but it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, maybe these need to be modified? Uh, what are they called? They're called attuned... Okay, because I do know that they have a recipe for bigger ones. Maybe it's the energized ones. Just need like stuff like that. Ritual symbol and like all those things. 
So, yeah. I'm gonna go check on the wiki because this thing doesn't tell you exactly what it needs for the other recipe for this thing here. So, alright, I'm gonna get into this and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, I found it. Uh, it was actually written in the first page. Like the. This one here, it says the ritual. It requires four different flowers as incenses. It's just not in the recipe, which, you know, should be. But, uh, alright, so... Like so... It can be, I believe, any flower? Oh, uh, wait, did we use two times the same one? No, it's a dandelion and the other one. Okay, so... Alright, let's do this. There we go! Can we kill it? I believe it's supposed to spawn something. Hey. Hey. It's kind of flying away. Woohoo! <laughs> Gave me what I wanted! Perfect! <laughs> So now that means we can do this. Of course, it's going to be needed to have more for pretty much everything else. But, uh, woohoo! <laughs> We've got it. Yeah, I just saw this. This is gonna be a pain to do. We need the wills. And it means blood magic is going to be something we need to do soon. If we want to continue into this. Because that means as soon as you want to make the portal, you need to be, like, quite far into blood magic. But, this now allows us to make this. Perfect. So let's come here, let's make some slabs. Let's grab some of this. Let's not place the slabs. Let's craft one. One is enough. Um, let's get rid of this flower. Uh, I'll be able to make more. That's not going to be an issue. We're going to place that in there. Uh, now we're going to be able to place, like, let's say this over here. And I believe we've got a Manus Predator. So now we can do this. There we go. So now it's going to take the mana from this and distribute it to here when we need it. So if we're going to Runic here and we look at the recipe now we can make like a bunch of these things and these are going to be used to make like augments uh they're going to be used to make the blood altar so as you can see there's a couple of things we need to do for this but there's also other things we need to do which we're going to get a little bit into it's a little bit of everything today guys uh i know uh this is probably going to go into an explosion of thousand tnt i don't know i don't have enough gunpowder for that uh, but <laughs> i do want to make it go boom uh maybe i'm really thinking soon i want to get into this since we can i don't see why we shouldn't we've got everything for it yeah i think we need to i think next episode we're going to apply the logistics <laughs> that seems about uh, what I what I need because I'm tired of looking for everything everywhere so yeah and steel it's not a problem to get so all right uh, let's get into uh, what we were doing and not uh, just my brain uh, dozing off and going somewhere else uh, we were here because we needed some of that because this has a certain recipe I believe yes this one here so we're gonna need a book, uh, I've got books here, and I've got two of these here. There we go. Necronomenomicon. It's the Necronomenomicon. What is this book? This is the Necronomenomicon, a book written by Abdul Az <laughs> al Azred, also known as the Mad Harab. The book contains knowledge about the great old ones, their names, and how to summon them. There is also information about spell and ritual to this book perform. I'm not going to read the whole thing. 
Uh, but all right, forbidden knowledge, whistlecraft. There's a couple of things you can find, uh, like different ritual, uh, like different different biomes. This one here, I did not find yet. I did find this one. I did find this one. I did find this one and this one. But I did not find this one. Well, it's actually those are, yeah, those are dimensions. But I found those though. So that means that we can go into one of them. If I do home, and I tab, I'm going to be able to see that I've got one called, where is it? Uh, it's not draconium, it's not farmer. Did I make one? I should have made one. It's not home. Home hole, home temp, home nether, home farmer, home iron, home end, home temp one. Okay, that's not home. Did I put a teleport? Yes, third gen. Oh yeah, I forgot. Kind of need the uh, vision. But these guys here, they give dark gems. Let's, uh, let's try to make one spawn. There you go. There you go. So they give dark gems, and these are going to be useful to craft stuff. Uh, with the na na cra <laughs> Necronomicon. You you'll see I have problems saying this one. And I know I'm saying Necronomicon. It it's wanted. <laughs> yeah. So these guys, I'm going to have to farm them quite a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I found this thing. And currently we are in the Savannah Plano Plateau. Uh, but if we go back to the top, there is a Corallium Swamp Thingy Doodler. So, oh, there's bad guys over here. So I'm probably gonna have like to make a staircase going up, probably with... Tin. Hey, buddy. Don't you mind? They have a lot of life, that is for sure. But they, they do give some good stuff, so can't can't argue about this. This... You see, this thing is needed to make the flu flugel, also the weak blood orb. So we really need to get into abyssal craft. Um, but let's. Oh, I don't have these. I'm gonna go back to the top. So I'll see you at the top in the biome. I want to show it to you. It's pretty cool. It's like all green, slimy thing. Can't see. Can't see. Alright guys, so I just checked and the episode's been going for quite some time already uh, But I do want to show you uh, there's a village over there uh, That's not really important, but this is the the biome uh, What happens is when you go like at the below you're gonna find Corallium uh, If we look Corallium uh, This is the thing that you're gonna find Corallium gem and it comes uh, below 40 you're gonna find a lot. Uh, you can also, you can find it in this biome and I think it's in the ocean biomes. But you can also find this under 40, of course. Uh, what you're gonna need this for is you're gonna turn it into 9 Corallium, a Corallium cluster. You're gonna be able to put it with Abyssal Stone, which is simply Abyssal Stone. If I remember correctly, you get into some sort of biome uh yeah i kind of traveled a little bit <laughs> oops um i'm not sure if it's those L let's go check out one of those biomes uh like here i know i know this is a little bit cheaty uh i think it's this one yeah okay so Let's see, is it? No, it's the wrong one. I went to the wrong one. So it was 366. Okay, so I'm here. So this is like weird wood. So we can get it. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of some of that. Okay, so this wood can be used as normal wood. So there's nothing special. This is dark stone. So let's see, what can we do with dark stone? Uh, dark stone can be used pretty much do nothing so the dark stone is not something that we need 
So it means that there's really nothing right now. So I believe there is probably one biome that I did not find. So forbidden knowledge, overworld, uh, material. Is in your found dark home. It is stronger than diamond, but can be used to create tools, weapon, and armor. Okay, that's good. Uh, dark stones, not important. Corallium, cor darkland oak, not important. Niter, I already found some. Liquid and time matter is pretty cool. Darkland grass is a new type of grass. It's not what we need. So that probably means that we're not in the right place. Abyssalcraft, well, let's continue looking. Um, Because we found that one, we found that one, we found that one. That one we didn't find. Or plain forest high and Corallium infested swamp. Because what we need is this. We need the green stuff to be able to put with the not the gem, but this thing here. Because we need to put it into an abyssal stone. This chunk. And this doesn't say where it's found. So I'm gonna have to find it. It's Abyssal... There's a wiki for that, if you didn't know. It's uh, Abyssal Stone. Let's look for it. If you can't find stuff in books, you find it on the wiki. And the wiki doesn't say anything. <laughs> it's really funny because the wiki says absolutely nothing. Like, absolutely nothing at all. This is, uh... I presume it's an abyssal wasteland that you find this. Yeah. And now to get there, you need to have the portal. If I remember correctly. So you need the gateway MK1. Gateway MK1. Uh, which needs this thing. So this we can make. This we can make. Oblivion... We need to make the ritual. So, alright. I think we can make all those. It's not an issue. So, alright. Well, we'll look into this another time. But, alright. Maybe it's just I was trying to go again too quick. Uh, but, yeah, guys. That is going to be it for today. So, I know. I'm a derp with the Iron Golem thing. But, uh, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you left, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you. In the next one, bye-bye.